update. And tonight, local activist groups and families of detainees are outraged as yet another inmate dies on Rikers Island. It's the 11th Rikers related death of the year, and it comes just five days after the last inmate died who was in custody. News 12's Faith Graham joins us now from outside of Rikers with what we know so far and the calls for action coming from people tonight, Faith. Well, Amanda, honestly, it was just another stressful day for the families of those detained on Rikers Island as they waited to learn the identity of the inmate that died and more about the circumstances surrounding the death. Now, the Department of Corrections has confirmed that it was 34 year old Michael Lopez and that he died this morning while in the Anna M. Cross Center. The DOC says Lopez had been in their custody since May 19th on burglary and assault charges. In a statement, DOC Commissioner Louis Molina said no one should have to experience the loss of a loved one while incarcerated and we are doing everything in our power to keep people safe and prevent further losses. Any death in custody is intolerable and we are investigating both of the deaths that occurred this week aggressively. But Lopez's legal counsel, the Legal Aid Society, says Lopez was caged on poverty charges and deprived of the services he needed. In a statement, they said Mayor Adams, DOC Commissioner Molina, district attorneys and judges are responsible for these deaths and their continued decisions to send people into dangerous conditions and inability to address the root causes of that danger amount to a refusal to recognize our clients as human beings. Queen's mother, Melissa Vergara, is a member of Freedom Agenda, a group dedicated to decarceration. She says her 20-year-old son has been detained on Rikers for more than 14 months. It's horrible. I fear, like, my worst fear is getting that phone call that something like that happens to my son. That's why Vergara is on a mission to shine a light on what is happening at the jail. Since he's been there, my son has had multiple injuries. Um, my son has had to go to the hospital twice. The Freedom Agenda is calling for accountability and for humane treatment. The fact of the matter is everyone who goes into Rikers, no one comes home any better. Actually, they, you know, they come home worse. Clearly a lot of emotion following today's death. Now Lopez was the 11th person to die in DOC custody so far this year. The 10th was Elijah Muhammad and tonight we're learning that Muhammad's family and his legal counsel plan on hosting a press conference this Monday where they'll be discussing a $25 million wrongful death lawsuit that they are filing against the city. So keep it here on News 12 as we continue to follow the reaction following these deaths. At Rikers Island, Faith Graham, News 12. All right, Faith, thank you for that update.